Morning, everyone. I want to make sure we get through the class learning objectives today. Sorry, we're missing. Um, obviously, my goal this semester is to have us work on exam type problems or exam problems during class to make sure everyone kind of gets the concepts and we all do well in the course. So let's try to go through a couple of them today. And we'll start with the goals for today. Class 5, Blood and Vessels. If you click on that, you have some learning outcomes. I changed them slightly, um, adding the blood typing, which was really Tuesday's lab, to make sure you know how to do that. And let's start with blood typing. I'm going to click on this blood typing chart. I can download that chart as a PDF, and then you can print it to practice filling it out if you'd like. So I've already got that set up here with my glasses, the blood type chart. And what I want to do is uh, go through here and list antigens and antibodies for each patient. So uh, one of the things I'll uh, actually do, I think, I'm going to try to be specific here. So these are going to be patient antigens and patient antibodies. So if we think of the antigens, they're the markers on the red blood cell. A type O negative person will have no antigens, none, on their red blood cells. Whereas someone who's AB positive will have A antigens, B antigens, and RH antigens. Antibodies are proteins in our plasma that will attack an antigen. So if someone has A antigens on their red blood cells, they can't have A anti-A antibodies. Otherwise, those antibodies would destroy the red blood cells. So if we look at someone who's AB positive, who has all of the antigens on their red blood cells, they can't have an, any antibodies. If they did have antibodies, it would destroy those red blood cells. On the opposite side, if someone has, is O negative, they have no antigens on their red blood cells. We're going to assume that they have A, anti-A antibodies, anti-B B antibodies, and anti-RH antibodies. Okay, then we've got to figure out who can donate to whom or receive from whom. And let's start with receiving. We can receive blood from someone if we don't have antibodies against their blood. If we had antibodies against their blood, it would destroy the delivered red blood cells. So our assumption when we receive blood, just think of it as receiving the red blood cells. Don't think of the antibodies in the donated blood. Just think of the red blood cells. So if I receive red blood cells and I don't have antibodies against them, that's okay. And that's great if you're AB positive, we can receive from everyone. Why? We have no antibodies. None. So we're not going to attack any red blood cells. And on the other hand, if someone is O negative, we have antibodies against everything. We have antibodies against RH, so we can't receive any blood that's positive. We have antibodies against anyone with um, an A antigen, we can't receive that. So we can't receive from anyone except for other people who are O negative. And the reason for that is any other red blood cell has an antigen and we have antibodies against all of them. Okay, now let's flip it around and say, who can we donate to? Well, we can donate to anyone who doesn't have antibodies against our red blood cells. So we need to kind of fill out the rest of this chart before we can uh, go through this systematically. And the easiest way to do that is start with the antigens. So if I, I'm just going to go down the list of patient antigens. O positive has RH antigen. A negative has an A antigen and no RH. A positive has an A antigen and an RH. 
B negative has a B antigen, B positive has a B antigen and RH. AB negative has A antigen, B antigen. Now we can assume that a patient with these antigens won't have antibodies against those antigens, but they will have the others. So if they're, I'm going to O positive, in O positive, if someone has an RH antigen, they're going to have anti-A antibodies and anti-B antibodies. A negative will have anti-B and anti-RH. Sorry for my pen here. I'm having some issues. It will help. Okay. Let's see if a new pen will help at all. I just need to make sure I'm recording here. Looks like it. Okay, so uh, if someone has ARH um, antigens, they would have anti B antibodies. B minus or B negative would have anti A and uh, anti RH. So anything that doesn't appear in the antigen, we put in the antibody category. So B positive has B and RH. They might have anti-A antibodies, or they will. Someone with AB would have RH. So if you look, A, B, and RH appear in every row. Either they're antigens or antibodies. And now that I know the antibodies, I know who these uh, people can donate to. So type O with no antigens can't be attacked by antibodies. So these O negative can donate to everyone. Antigens can't be attacked. On the other hand, A, B positive, I'm down here at the bottom again. A, B positive can donate only to A, B positive. Why is it just one blood type? Well, they have all the antigens, so any antibody would attack that blood. The only person an AB positive person could donate to would have no antibodies. This is the only blood type that has no antibodies. So let's now go over here to B negative. B negative has B antigens. Okay, I'm going to pause because we're going to get a disruption. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to uh, go down this chart. Oops. So now I can go down the, this chart. Oops. And I'm going to look for antibodies against B. And so O negative has antibodies against type B blood. Can't donate. Okay, so I'm just going to go circle everyone with anti-B antibodies. And that gives me who I can donate to. I can donate to anyone without a red circle. So uh, B negative could donate to So B negative can donate to uh, B negative, B positive, AB negative, AB positive, anyone without the anti-B antibodies. What about B positive? Let's go here. Okay, so this is B and RH um, antigens. So there's an RH antibody, RH antibody, RH antibody, RH antibody. And I've already circled the B, so anyone with a red circle is out of luck. So B positive can donate to B positive, and that better be the case. And also AB positive. And that also better be the case because we that's a universal recipient. Okay, so hopefully you get the strategy to do that, and you can fill out this blood typing chart on your own.